Welcome to our business meeting. A familiar event here. So I've changed the deck, um, mainly because I had a lot of troubles dealing with enchantments and artifacts like the anvil decks. So I introduced the binding and then since this was more ramping than also the titan to take care of enchantments and artifacts. Uh, this guy is still here, super strong, it wins on its own. Then um, the deck became a little bit slower, so I have less 2 drops and more 3 drops. Um, this is tuned to kill aggro decks mostly, so against control we just have the one predation which is usually not enough, but the metagame for now is mostly aggro decks, so we should be fine. We are Platinum 3. So let's make a session and see if we get some wins. Valfreya. I go first. I think this is a keep. Maybe a mono black player, so this will not be so powerful, but we can discard it to the table. Valfreya, you come here asking for my friendship, but you bring me no respect. Yeah, so. Blue and black is probably the worst combination for us. This is a control deck, probably. So we have to try to beat beat Valfreya down. Yep. Hmm. I think playing the Fable on three is more important, so Worry. Oh. This could still be Esper though, although the swamp. No, this is not Esper. Yep. I discard a ray for sure. Maybe another land. So if this is Esper, but Control. Actually Path to Peril is a pretty decent card in this meta. Mm. So... Mounted for sure. I'm a little bit afraid of giving away the Boseju, which can kill... Which can kill um, Mituk Massacre. Position. He has six cards in hand. Mana open. Hmm. Question is five mana open. Do I 
also power up the hive? I think not. This is still a clock on two turns, so... Let's see, maybe I was a little bit too conservative. Six mana, Kraken is on seven. Yep. Oof. That was a risky one. And maybe he had uh, some counter spells, some negates that he couldn't use. I don't know. Everybody loves to hear a great comeback story. Never give up. Oof. Sometimes it's better to save time and give up, honestly, <laughs> especially when you get the wrong match. So at turn one, nothing. Turn two, nothing. So if I don't draw a land, this is really clunky. On the other hand, if he's aggressive, I can stop him for a bit. So I think I'll keep, it's not a, not a good end. But... Consider. Okay, so I've tuned a deck to kill aggro and I'm only paired with control. Nice. Very nice. Chiwari Disruption. Yeah, this is probably a Chiwari. If he has Pike Field Hazard, he also has Chiwari. Not that I have much better stuff to do, so... So... This may be some strange combo deck. Maybe it's not control, let's see. Is there anything Bozeju can kill in an Hinata deck? I think not. So I think I do this, please in this one, so I will have the treasure to make 4 damages to Hinata with the Vault Surge. can kill Hinata once with this and with this one you need other two lands let's go I think I'll play the Hive here, if he has nothing else to do. Windfall, sure. Also, this can kill a Dragon, 
Oh boy. Um, so whenever you cast the first run, exile is run random from your graveyard. So I think I have to remove the graveyard now. This no, because if he has um, burned down the house, I would lose both. I think I will have to try to beat him down. Let's see what he can do. Info, sure. Oof. I don't know, I have a bad feeling about this. I shouldn't have played the Buzeyu. can top deck the canoe doesn't happen mm. I can try to hit for three and then uh, me took mm. yeah i think this is the play i don't want to lose the hive Play with fire. Can bring back. Maybe I should play this on zero. I messed up. Bring back the other trespasser, yes or no? I think it's yes. This is not an Inata deck, so...
negate. Interesting. Okay. this guy deck himself I think. I think I should remove all the control I think it's time to concede. Maybe if I draw an enchantment removal. If I draw Titan, I cannot play because I need seven mana. I have to draw Binding of the Old Gods. This is the type of deck that in Commander you don't want to play against, take 3 hours to make a turn which does nothing in the end. 15 cards. Hmm. 15 cards, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Maybe he's not surviving. So the life gain from this one is offset by the Mituk. Let's see if he can kill me. I think I have to try, let's see. If I die, I die. Let's go. Ah, yeah. That stupid game. Nope. This is a very weak deck. I just lost because I, I thought it was Hinata and I played my Buzeju. I wouldn't play the deck. It's if you like longer combo, it's fine. But yeah, no one likes very long combo. I'm of the school that either you kill me immediately with your combo, 
or just don't do it, just don't waste my time. Low start, but I'm on the play, so I'll keep it. Another blue deck. Thank you, matchmaker. Thank you very much. Ridiculous. I'll bite the Juari. Cycle away the ray for sure. I think this is fine. Okay. Worry. If not before, why now? Ugh. I think I will remove this graveyard. Let's see if it taps out. He's stopping out. Oh boy. So I can clone the orb. Yeah. Okay, let's make a more interesting game to close the session. So first game blue based deck. Second game blue based deck. Third game blue based deck. If you look at any meta breakdown, you would see it should be full of Boros aggro and other aggro decks, and blue base decks should be a really tiny percentage of the pie. But thank you, Matchmaker. It's not the meta game I'm playing. I go first again, which is remarkable. I think this is a keep. be some angel deck so these are fine keep yeah probably some angel deck Or is it an angel deck, or is it a blue-white control, which is going to Juari Disruption with Fable? Okay. Fading up my token, okay. That deck, Ugh. So, I really want to hit a land. No lands. This is probably it means it can protect it. Mm. Not 
hitting the land drop here is pretty brutal. I think I have to try, so he can protect it for sure. So you have to try to put down a blocker. Protection was a boon of safety, Riveteer's charm could work. I have to block or not. What's the alternative? The alternative is that I can ob, but that won't help me. Otherwise I block, I leave a tear. Mm. What a stupid game. I take the blocker for the next turn. No lands again. Um, I have two blockers. So I could try to have him sacrifice this. when he tried to draw. because I'm skipping land drop so this this is turn five I could do infernal grasp and river tears charm and that would have been enough but I missed two land drops you tap out you fool let's see how fool if you're really a fool or you know what you're doing lands again I think I will create uh, the copy of the trespasser in the upkeep of my opponent so I can remove the other on CD crap. Well, well where's my stop? Hmm how the how does this thing even work? How do I set the stop? Ah here. Thank you, Wizard, for not making it clear once again. Oh, well. 
take my opportunity. The only way to lose this game is not to lens. Pretty good at it apparently. So I have to infernal grasp it so he lose the shield. And the next turn if I draw a land. Actually, if I make enough of these blood tokens, then I can keep it. Must feel very bad. The only thing your deck can try to do to win is hope the adversary has no lands. That's how stupid your deck is. Why can't I draw a frigging land? I cannot play this. <sighs> Unless I try to kill this. Can I take a single turn of Delver? That's the question. I think I have to risk it. Come on. Land. Yes. Think open and can cast spells the chosen name. I think you are the sacrificer thing. Oh, land. Okay. Um, well, it's a bit ambitious, and also, this is a bit ambitious. Lens, okay. A bit late. 
So. Attack with the token. Killing the dragon. I think I have to try. And kill the delver. Yes. Kill everything. attack or block okay mm. so if I play Bob I can also leave a tear charm, which I think is fine. I think I'll try to do this now then. See you next time. Bye.